Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. In this video we're going to see how we can use Drash, a REST micro framework for Dino. So when you go to Drash.land you go to the website of the project, right? And they choose for Drash.land because the main website of Dino is Dino.land, right? So that's a very smart choice. So when we go and take a look at the features, you will see that we have the possibility to uh, create resources. They have content negotiation. They have middleware, so you can write middleware before request and after request. They have the request body parsing, of course, when you want to send something to the server that it's been parsed correctly. We have route path parameters so that you can define dynamic routes and they can serve static assets. But let's find these features out by uh, trying out some examples, right? So um, we can import Drash, right, from Dino.land x Drash version 35. And then we have our home resource where we can define our paths, which is slash in our case. And then we have a get there. And then we have here a dish.response.body, where we defined our body in our case, hello world. And then we return that response. When we want to uh, define a server, we can very easily do that with defining a server with its address, response output, which is text HTML and our resource which is home resource. So when we have defined all of that we can do server.run. So now we can run our server in our case it runs on localhost 40, uh, 47. Now when we go to that URL we get hello world. Great! That's awesome, right? So now we can define other resources in other files. For example, user um, resource.ts, right? And when we then paste the following code, you will see that we have here a user resource. We have here I'm just going to format it a little bit. Uh, we have here our public uh, get, right? In our public get, we can do something like let user ID, this print request, because we have also a request object, uh, get URL qu uh, query param ID. When we have that, we can see if we have our user ID when we have it it's okay when we don't have it we throw 400 and then of course we can just parse our int when our int is not a number it's also not okay so again we throw an error Otherwise, we can just fill out our response body. And that's it, right? But for that, we just need to import it here. So we need to do something like import user resource from dot slash user resource yes right and then of course we need to add it here so now we have our user resource defined again when we go and take a look here we need to go to slash users and slash an id right okay We're going to recompile our application and we go to um, the browser. 
So when we go to the browser, we still see hello world when we go to our index. And then when we go to users, for example, and we do enter, you will see that this resource requires an ID. So we do something like ID and then we do some, but then we can say the resource requires an ID URL query param to be a number, which is also great feedback, right? So we put a number and then we get this as a result back, right? But for example, when we want to do something like this, how are we going to do it? So I don't want to use uh, uh, ID, but I want to use something like this. Let's see how we can use pet params. So now we can do something like this. And we can say get pet, get alt param ID. And of course we restart our server. And then when we go to this URL, it should work great and it works so when we put something like this you will see that we get this one and when we go to this url you will see that we requires an id right so now we have this which is great so next thing that i want to show you is how to write middleware so we're going to write middleware for For logging. So logging middleware.ts. And then we're going to use the following thing. So Drash has a logger, console logger. So we enable it. We say level all. Text string is our is a daytime and a level. And then daytime is just a new date to ISO string replace T with space, All right? And then of course when we do uh, or when we write middleware, we do something like this: we do uh, middleware, and then we have a public um, method run, and that method run we can also use this dot response, which is the same like when we have. Uh, public get posts uh, within our resource, right? Then we can just log that. Then within our app, we can then import sorry Morgenstein long middleware from long middleware dot ts right great now we of course need to define our middleware somewhere and we do it here so we have a middleware and it can be on server level and it can be on a resource level so for this we want to have it on a server level because every request we need to have a modern style logging middleware right okay let's restart our server first of all i want to put this in comments all right so let's restart our server. Of course, needs to compile everything. And we now change this to 66. All right. And now you will see that we have info when a request started. Request received and get slash user one two three six six and then we have something when a response was uh, being sent out so here we have something like this and this dot response when we don't have a response we say that the request was received and otherwise when we had a response we can say what the status code was and the status message right 
so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it uh, you can do lots of more things with Dresh, so uh, certainly check their website out uh, i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel if you want to support us and uh, see you next time thank you for watching bye